Hello, manifestors. I know there was no video last Friday, but if you have missed it on Monday, I did a live and you'll see I'm wearing the same clothes I'm wearing right now <laughs> because I'm doing this video right after the live and I have no more voice because I'm coming out of a bad cold, almost like some kind of a flu that affected me for like three days and I still have a weird voice when I use it too much and the live was an hour and a half so I am out of voice. Um, I have finally completed the masterclass, my eight week masterclass to manifest your SP and it's now in the hand of my developers, so she'll put all this together for you guys to be able to purchase it and more importantly, to do it, okay? So today I wanted to talk about something that I have noticed more and more, more than ever, that is going to affect you. Number one, number one, your results. The fact that you will manifest what you want or not. And this is reacting to the old, reacting to your current circumstances. So number one, what are your current circumstances? I feel that if you do understand what they are, it will be easier to be stronger than them rather the other way around, right? So your current circumstances, all that they are, it's your previous thoughts, your previous beliefs, your previous assumptions, the previous stories that you used to tell yourself. This is what you have now in your life. This is what created your current circumstances. So whether it's related to an SP or to health or to wealth, to whatever, to your house, to your car, to whatever else, your current circumstances are to be traced back into the past. So I know that you may be saying, well, now I have been watching my thoughts, I have been working on my self-concept, I have been imagining that I am the person I want to be, and still I have this ugly 3D to show me that this is not happening, it's still not here in my 3D. And in that moment, if you react and you start talking about it to your friends, you start writing it down in comments, in one way or another, you react to that 3D circumstance or circumstances, they are only going to be prolonged. They are going to expand even more just because you keep on reacting to it. Even if you let that thing waste a whole day, for example, you have bad news in the 3D that, that is completely opposite to what you have imagined and you let it ruin your day, even a day, it's a day too many. If you, it ruins your day, you are within that day manifesting more of the same for next time, for tomorrow, for next week, for next month. So it is a must that you learn to not react anymore. Not that you have to ignore it. It could be very ugly and hard to ignore. You know it's here, you know it's what it is. But you have to learn to put it where it belongs, meaning that you understand that this is old news. It's still your old imaginal act, your old assumptions that are still playing out in the 3D. But what you need to do, the only thing that you need to do to manifest the fastest possible way is to focus on what you want instead. If SP is a jerk, do not focus on the jerk version. Focus on the version that you want to see and hear and experience, no matter how bad that version is right now. If it's financial situation, if you are having even more bills to pay 
since you've been doing the inner work. Just take this as a purge, as whatever needs to happen so you can take it all out once and for all. But focus on your desire fulfilled. If you want to create wealth and all you see is bills right now, still focus on the feeling of being wealthy. Tell yourself that you are wealthy. Keep on telling yourself the new story, the story that you want, regardless of what your 3D is showing you. And regardless of how long you are saying that you've been doing the work. Because sometimes we say we are doing the work, but we are not really doing the work. We are watching a lot of videos about it. We are trying one technique and then another and then another. And all of that is nice and all, but it's not doing the work. Doing the work is picking whatever works best for you. If visualizing works best for you, you do that. If affirming works best for you, you do that. If any other technique works best for you, you do that. But you stick to it. You stick to it. Whatever technique you are using anyway, is just a helper to help you to be the person that you want to be from within, to feel and think like that person. So no matter what the technique you are using, it's not the, the problem and it's not what's important. What's important is you, because you are the manifester, not the technique. It's you using whatever technique works best for you and stick to it. Because the reason number one, you're not seeing your manifestation is that. You are reacting to your current circumstances and then you keep on changing techniques and you keep on learning new things to see if it's going to work better for you. And this is not how to manifest. You need to know what works best for you once and for all and you need to stick to it. And you need to not react anymore to no matter what the 3D is showing you how ugly that can be. And I know, trust me, I know that sometimes 3D suck like hell, but you need to learn not to react to it and stick to whatever technique works best for you to plunge you into your new story and stick to that story until it will, trust me, manifest in your 3D reality. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please help other people see it. Give me a thumbs up, comment, and share the video if you can. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.